Hey guys, Jack here at 360 Fitness. Uh, real quick today, uh, super simple. I want to go over five things that you can do to break a workout plateau. So we're not going to talk about grand scheme fitness, big picture fitness. We're going to be talking about five little things that you can do inside your workout to break a plateau. So plateau is where you're getting stuck uh, in a rut. Uh, you're stuck at the same weights and reps and sets and you just kind of can't, can't get over that hump. So here's five quick things you do to integrate into your next workouts. Okay, don't overcomplicate this guys, seriously. Just pick one or five of these and get going. So first and foremost, we're gonna focus on get, getting supersets and drop sets. So more or less just overstimulating the muscle just for a short period of time to make it bust that plateau whether it likes it or not. So superset is combining two exercises back to back that are synergistic um, or even antagonistic. So more or less a push and a pull, a chest press, a row, a curl, an extension, that kind of thing. So more or less just doing two exercises back to back before you rest. Or on top of that, you can do a drop set. Uh, more or less, if you're going for uh, a bench press at 135 pounds for eight reps, going for 135 pounds for eight reps, maxing out at that, going near till failure, dropping the weight, and then continuing to do as many reps as you can until failure. So more or less, just dropping the weight, continuing on the rep ranges. So supersets or drop sets are awesome to break plateaus. Usually, the issue will be solved right then and there. Number two, reverse order on your exercises. So even if you're having the same exercises in your routine, take the last one you typically do, move it to the front, and then grab the last one, or grab the first one, move it to the end. Seems super simple, but it's a great way to get past the plateau. Number three, find variations for your main compound lifts. So your push, your pull, your hip hinge, you know, your, your squat, your bench, your dead, your press, that kind of stuff. Find a quick variation. So if you're on a, a plateau on back squat, do a front squat. If you're on a plateau for a traditional a barbell deadlift, go into a sumo dumbbell deadlift. Something like that where the compound is staying similar, but you have a slight variation where you're recruiting different muscle groups and different variations, and it might give you something to break that plateau and also bring up lagging muscle parts or muscle, <laughs> muscle groups and body parts, okay? Uh, so that's a great way to do it, and that's usually the one that I go into first. Number four, find a workout buddy. Usually it's a, an external motivating factor uh, that can get you to that last rep, to get to that last set and enjoy your workout a lot more. If you don't have a, a really good dedicated workout buddy, hire a coach. Really, it makes a lot of difference, guys. Think about it. Uh, number five, and I don't even know why I'm having to talk about this, but I, I'm still seeing people that are not tracking their workouts. They're winging their workouts. They're just kind of uh, grabbing uh, a random piece of equipment or a random dumbbell and just firing away and it's like looking it's like trying to buy a house and not knowing how much money you have or how much money you spend or how much money you make and not ever taking a look at your bank account you have to track it you have to know what you're doing when you want to do it and what you can do in the next workout so track your workouts those are five quick little things you can do to break a workout plateau bye guys talk to you soon